Okay, I'm gonna show the cool wrapping technique that I've learned and the way that I teach it. I have been teaching cool work since 2014. I have found that this is kind of one of the best ways to teach it so that people could kind of get used to the movements that your hands make when you're doing cool work. I feel like it's really important. Um, so the pink piece is how I'm gonna use this like a pretend rawhide. And then the different colors are the ones that I'm gonna use as pretend quills so I will show you the way that I have learned to quill to do quill wrapping for medicine meals and different things so this is one that I've just did for these videos so I will start so you take one quill you hold it with like your thumb and you're kind of holding the piece together the whole entire time that you're working with it. You just got to use different movements. So you take your quill and you kind of create a little bit of a fold right here. And so now you're ready to go around your rawhide with your first quill. Kind of hold the end so it kind of secures and it kind of secures itself as you do more quills. But hold the bottom. Now you're going around. And so because it's paper, it's not always as flexible. So like this quill doesn't quite go all the way around. So this is like where you would switch out a quill. So you kind of go back, hold it open. So you're gonna add in your next colored quill. And so I'm just doing a different color so that we can show the difference. So the quill you just wrapped around the rawhide, I'm holding it in the back with my finger and with my thumb. You take your other hand, you pull your quill over and then you create a little bit of a check mark. So you fold your quill, you put it on the rawhide first, down. You fold the new quill base down. And now you're ready to go all the way around again with your new quill. So it kind of creates a little bit of like a knot. And that's kind of what secures the quills as they dry. So then your stuff doesn't unravel. So now you're just going around. And so ready to add another quill in. And you do the same exact same thing so you're kind of holding it and this is like where it's kind of taken a little bit of your own technique but i'm showing you what works best for me so you add a new quill in you go over create a check mark uh, quill you just do is around the rawhide goes down the new quill goes down now you're ready to wrap again One of the things that I've learned is uh, not to cut all the quills at the bottom until you've kind of gone around the next color. So I would trim them now so that the quill work doesn't get too bulky. So you're ready to add in your next quill. And then we'll add in our thread and I'll show you what we do with that here in a little bit. So you create a check mark again. Old quill that you just did around the rawhide goes down. The new little part of the check mark goes here. And so now you create your little bit of a fold. But this time before you go around the second time, I'm going to add my thread in. So adding my thread in, I create a little bit of a loop and you put it here. So hold on to it. And it's all about how you hold your quill work it is kind of where people have a hard time, especially in my classes that I've taught and learning myself is Learning the folds and learning how to hold it is kind of what's been the most difficult. So with your thread, you kind of keep it behind your quills. Um, so I'm ready to add my last quill in because I'm almost near the end of the project that I want to do here. So quill over, check mark. This one goes down. The new quill goes down. And so I'm going to go around once with this. And as I go around, I'm going to take my scissor and I am going to clip, careful so you don't cut your thread, all these pieces to kind of hide them as I'm almost done with my project. So I'm going to go around again. So now this is where it's kind of tricky. It's going to be a little bit tricky because you're using paper so it might rip a little bit. But you take your quill and your thread, you put it around. So if in case you missed it, I'll just show you again. You take your thread and you wrap it around the very last quill. Again, I'm holding it the whole entire time. And so you kind of adjust your thread to come this way. You take your two pieces over here that you kind of weaved into your work. And 
it creates a little bit of a tie. So now when you pull it, you just keep pulling it slow and you keep pulling it through. See? And then your project's kind of tucked through. And so when it's tucked through, your quills will dry and it'll be straight like that. And then your, your quills will be secure because your quill's tucked underneath your work. And so that's how I learned to do quill wrapping. That's kind of the easiest way that I found to teach people too is through practicing with paper because a lot of it is just learning how to hold the rawhide while you're working with the quills.